something I want to talk to you about because I think you have an interesting perspective on this. Someone who's been in the non NIL college basketball and in the current yeah, NIL college basketball. Um, how much has it changed behind the scenes? You don't have to go into specifics. Definitely not asking for specifics on anything, but like, how much has stuff changed being recruited? Like now you've been recruited as a high school guy multiple times in college after mm-hmm. transferring twice. How much has this changed the landscape as a player? No, it's changed a lot. But as a player, you know, it's it's helped the players. For sure. It's helped the players. Like, I wish NIL was around when Jellyfin was around. Because to be honest with you, and I say this humbly, I'd probably be a millionaire right now. Probably. You're probably right. Um, but... I just I'm ha- I'm happy to see guys get paid, especially like young guys coming in from high school who have a big following. Like they earned that, yeah. You know, and I, for me, it's for the college. It's changed a lot. It's changed the whole dynamic, the whole way you recruit. But for the players, it's like I feel like we've earned this. And for me personally, I, I'm just trying to take advantage of it um, the best I can because I know so many guys before me weren't able to take advantage right. of it, you know, and I, they probably looking back now like, like, wow, if I would have stayed in school, I would have probably made a lot more money, right. you know, so. You think there are a lot of guys like that that maybe, you know, didn't have a professional career or played overseas? I know where they for could, certain for they sure. Yeah, yeah for, for certain, for sure. Um, and that must be tough. I'm sure, know? yeah, looking back and saying like I could have stayed. You were an All-American in college in 2010, and you looking back now like, wow, if I would have had that year, just 13 years later, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be making you know X amount of dollars. Right, even people like Zion, who ultimately went to, I mean, he's he's doing fine right yeah, now, like he's, he's straight. Fine. But yeah, like, I know what you're getting. Dude would have been a millionaire in college, mm-hmm. hands down, like no doubt, was the most marketable player in college basketball. So yeah. it's it is crazy how it's changed. I think it's I think it's definitely for the good because mm-hmm. I've heard many horror horror stories of you know dudes just struggling, yeah. like maybe not necessarily at this level. Some at the, I've heard some at this level, but like there's dudes that really ain't eating like that. Like I've no, heard that before. Yeah, let me touch on that. My um, my freshman year, actually my first two years in college when there was no nil, like it was times my stipend was not getting me through the month. Yeah. you know, like I was, you know, last last couple of days I'm I'm having to order the. Dominoes for like the last five days with my dining dollars, like back to back to back for dinner. Like, you know, now guys, you know, freshmen coming in with new cars and, you know, it's honestly, I, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I think, you know, guys aren't, guys aren't that. And, and to be honest, you got to give credit to everybody who's come before us, you know, because they kind of paved the, they the reason that, you know, NIO is, is a thing. I think this may be obvious, but to some it, it may not be. How important is it to have the right people telling you how to handle those assets as an 18, 19 year old kid? I know you're doing it now as a little bit older, but like, you know what it's like. So I can see situations where these kids coming in and they're blowing it and then yeah. they got nothing. And then they're struggling again. Like, oh, I can't eat. Like, I got to go try to find an NIL deal because <laughs> I, I can't eat that at the end of this month. Like, yeah, nah, that's a good question right here. So, yeah, so how important is it, like, you got to have someone to help you and teach you, like, yeah, you might have just gotten 150K, but, like, if you're going and buying cars and, like, you're going out to these nice restaurants, like, that's going to go quick. Yeah, that 100 will go very fast if yeah. you don't manage it the right way. Um, it's, <laughs> it's um, I feel like it's, it's, it's essential. And it's cool. And I yell now, it allows, um, you know, these young guys to learn about it before, they even get to college. I'm pretty sure there's high school programs now who is, who are teaching. They know that when, when these kids are going to get to school, they're going to be getting deals here and there, and they're kind of, you know, giving them a blueprint because if you don't manage your money, like, it can really go like that, and I'm sure you know. Um, and yeah. Then, and then if you become irrelevant as a player, then it's gone. Like, that was it. Like, yeah, that, that was, was your, it for you. That's, like, that's all you had. And you and you, you wasted it. It's extremely important, but I'm glad because a lot of guys don't learn these type of things until it's too late. Until oh, yeah. they get to the NBA and you know they 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 sign their rookie deal and they don't they don't get to that second contract. And yeah. now, you know, they having to live off what they or they already blew it. It's gone. Know? It's yeah. gone. So it's 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 given us an opportunity to 
learn about, learn life earlier, you know? Yeah. And I think that's beneficial. Yeah. No, I, I figured you'd have a cool perspective on yeah. that because you've seen it from both sides and been in a situation where you could have made a lot of money if, mm. if it would have been uh, different at that time. So, yeah. 